Good afternoon, everybody! I'm at the house and by the front door. That's why it's... That's a nice background, right? So Jen was over here sanding all day and she found this. It says ladybug. So weird, I don't know what that means. So here's how it looks in here after Jen did all of her sanding today. I think it looks awesome. It's totally like a different... You can't see where the, uh, where the other sander... Well, you can see it, but once I wipe it down, I don't think you'll be able to see it. And then I gotta stain all that. And then we're good to go. Put some polyurethane on there and it'll be good to go. We have this one closet with this crazy black stuff in it. I don't know what it was, but I'm gonna try paint thinner on it. See if it gets it, like, loosened up. Part of me is saying, come on, Tim, you can do it. It's a closet. You can do it. And the other part of me is saying, are you really gonna spend three hours on a closet? No, I'm not. This is as good as it gets. Looks kind of cool. What do you guys think? Can you see the boards that I replaced? I didn't think so. So we're totally at a point with the floors where we're like, let's start doing the polyurethane. And then we looked outside and it was dark. And there's no overhead lights in any of the rooms. We'd have to have a lamp. Can't put a lamp on the floor if we're putting polyurethane down. And we can't get to the plug to move it to a different room if there's polyurethane in the way. So, we have to wait till tomorrow to do our first coat of polyurethane, which stinks, but I think we're gonna try to do it right. We also determined today that the polyurethane has a 14 day cure time but a week for heavy traffic so we're not going to give it the full 14 days before moving everything in upstairs we're going to give it a week but we're planning on moving in on saturday so uh i think we're still going to move in on saturday we're just going to sleep on that bed down here in the dining room for a week <laughs> with all of our stuff it's going to be awesome i'll be like camping it will be like camping, but uh, where are we going to put this table? I think we're going to sleep underneath the table <laughs> in the dining room with all of our stuff. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. Oh man, oh, I'm so tired. I had to wake up at four this morning because I had to like wait. I dropped Jen off at the new house before I went to work, which that was not a fun trek out there. But uh, I do know how long it takes me to get to work from the new house though now. And now we have to go get, uh, the same people that gave us the dining room table are giving us a recliner. So we're gonna go get the recliner tonight because that's the only time that they can do it. So that's what we're about to do. So I was using the sander for a little bit today and I was wearing a mask. And I still have these lines on my face from wearing the mask. How did Walter White cook meth and not get caught? Like, he would have had all these lines on his face from wearing that mask all the time, right? It, anyways, I was just laying down for a minute because I'm tired and my eyes happened to close and I happened to drift off. I had the most wonderful dream about me going back to England and we were up on the top of, we went to Tintagel Castle, which was like the place where King Arthur was conceived. Um, there's not very much there. It's kind of ruins now, but it's kind of on the top of this big cliff. And I was sitting there thinking like, it was icy when we were there, like there was icicles hanging down. And I had a dream that we were playing around on this patch of ice and I slipped and I fell and then I slid off the side of the cliff and I ended up like breaking my arm off, like pulling it all completely off on the side of the mountain, breaking a leg and then going into the ocean down below into the crashing waves and then riding a wave to the beach using my good hand to like pinch close the, the crazy arteries that are in your arms and got up there on the beach and then like survivor manned it by like taking off all my clothes and building a fire until the police got there and then when the police or the ambulance got there and then I was like, hey, paramedics, make sure you guys grab my arm. I'd like that back, please. And then I was like, wow, who are you? That was my dream. Here's our new recliner chair. Oh, I was trying to get this door open, but it's stuck. Hold on. All right, and here's a life all right, and here's a life lesson for you guys. Most recliners nowadays have these little clips on them right here that if you pull up on this tab, it releases them from this right here. So you can take the back off of it so that you can transport it in most any vehicle, like we have it in the Suburban here. But there's a ton of room, and I really think that we probably could have gotten it in the car if we tried hard enough, but yay, look at it. Look at how soft it is. Yeah, that's a soft looking chair couch and actually our couch here has a recliner on either end and the center section comes out too so we transport this as four different pieces modular technology i can't wait to move into our new house so that 
the best lighting isn't right next to the dog food because that's where the best lighting in this house is right next to the dog food well i mean it could be in the shower <laughs> oh yeah we can just vlog in the shower what do you think should we do that <laughs> i'm in the shower not really i'm not really in the shower i'm just pretending because it's wet i took a shower in the shower because that's what you're supposed to do and it's wet in there so i'm in the shower I like how the toilet's just running in the background. <laughs> Is your toilet running? Better go catch it. Okay, seriously guys. Uh, I forgot to vlog everything today that I did. I did so much stuff. I got to the house at 5 o'clock in the morning. Was that what? That was a shiver, sorry. <laughs> My cameraman is being unprofessional. It's so cold. <laughs> Are you cold? Yeah, I'm wearing like this shirt that... Oh, it like wicks away the sweat. It's like meant for being in the hot weather. So, you should be wearing these. These parachute pants. Those are my pants and you're wearing them. <laughs> and I can't wear them if you're wearing them. We could probably both fit in these. They're so big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't. We won't really do that. But um, so I went to the house today at 5 a.m. And I cleaned. Was it five? It was six. It was five. It was close enough to five. <laughs> yeah, I woke you up at 5.15. <laughs> But, so I got to the house at 4 o'clock this morning, and I cleaned everything. And then, you know what was really grinding my gears is that, I was going to say, you know what really ground my gears, but that's not proper English, I don't believe. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. But I was really upset because I cleaned everything downstairs, and then I went upstairs and I started stand, started sanding, and everything downstairs got dirty again. And I was like... I cleaned for like two hours straight, so that was fun. Uh, and then I was sanding the outsides of the rooms for seven hours, and my wrists hurt like really bad. And I actually kept sanding my hand right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I kept hitting it. Whoa. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt, but it's just annoying because I kept hitting. I kept hitting my hand like a hundred million times. And then I also had to to sit like this. This is what I did for seven hours. So my arms and my legs and my back really hurt, like super bad. Do the, go everybody right now, take a break, pause, do this. And just tell me how you feel. Let me know in the comments how this feels because it doesn't feel great. Rise of planet of the week. <laughs> That's what I, I was gonna say. It looked like a monkey, but I thought that might be like mean to monkeys. <laughs> There's a reenactment of what I did for seven hours, so. You're welcome. Every night before we go to bed, I um, tickle Tim, not on purpose. Well, it is on purpose, but I don't know. It just like happens. My hands are just like, <laughs> and he hates it. So every night we fight about me tickling him. He hates it, but I don't mean to do it. It just happens. I'm just like, like even right now, I just, all I want to do is just <laughs> stop. See, and he doesn't like it. You know what it makes me want to do? What? It makes me want to just do this. <laughs> put your hand in my face. Just put my hand on your face. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, don't put my hand, don't put your hand on my face because that's bad to touch your face because you get pimples. And because I've been wearing this stupid mask, I've been breaking out where I wear the mask, um, and that's annoying. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come to the party? Does green? Look at that tail. Hello? Oh, bye. I'm so tired. But I'm sure everybody else is too from watching the hard work that goes into this. I, I, that's not what I wanted to say, but I was being tickled, attacked. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>